what shall be done unto the man whom the king delighted to honor? Now Haman thought in his heart, to whom will the king delight to honor or to do honor more than to myself? Mm. And Haman answered the king, for the man whom the king delighted to honor, let the royal apparel be brought, which the king uses to wear, and the horse that the king rides upon, and the crown royal, which is set upon his head. And let this apparel and horse be delivered to the hand of the one of the king's most noble princes, that they may array the man without whom the king delights to honor and bring him on horseback through the streets of the city and proclaim before him, thus shall it be done to the man whom the king delighted to honor. Then the king said to Haman, make haste and take the apparel and the horse as thou hast said and do even to Mordecai the Jew that seated at the king's gate. Let nothing fail of all that thou hast spoken. I will pause it there to the verse 10, chapter 6, verse 10. So from the chapter 5, from the chapter 5, verse 9, through to chapter number 6, verse 10, we see, we saw what happened over there. And we see that the man who wanted to destroy Mordecai was used to, I would say, honor Mordecai. The king honored Mordecai. But Haman was used to dress up or to. <laughs> Anytime I'm, I'm speaking about this, I laugh so much because I, I laugh because we have come through the journey of life where so many people just come into our space. They backslashed us. They did so many things. They said so many things. And then you see God honoring you in their faces. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God will honor you. Amen. You see, God, you see, a person with integrity is always there to support others into sources. So mm -hmm. a man with in, uh, Mordecai, with integrity, he helped the king into sources. They didn't kill the king. And the reward came at the right time mm -hmm. when he, Mordecai, has even forgotten about it. Yes. So if God took God took out the peace of that king. What is it that God cannot do to somebody watching me today? Maybe you have been like Mordecai in the hands of an Ahaman somewhere. You've been doing so much, but you've not been appreciated. Mm. Maybe you have been, you have been giving your all. All they give you back is backslash. All they give you back is a spit in the face. All they give you back is negativity. God who sits in secret is going to honor you. Even as God honored Mordecai, maybe you did good to somebody. They've forgotten you. Today, the spirit of God is going to cause a stir in their closet, in their beds, in their minds, in their hearts, and their peace shall depart from them and they will remember you. That is the God that we serve. He is the God who sits in secret. He is the God who knows where we are. He is the God. Oh my goodness. God is God. All your good works will not go in vain. The Bible says that when we are doing something, we should do it as unto the Lord. Today, you might not be honored. Today, you might not see the results of what you are doing. Today, you might not be appreciated. But there is a time that God is going to honor you. There is a time that God is going to restore. There is a time that God is going to elevate you. There is a time that God will pick you from where you are and bring you to where you are supposed to be because he is the God who sees in secret. Ah. He is, yeah, he is a good God. God is a good God. He is a good God. He rewards in secret. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do it as unto the Lord. Whatever do you it, are doing. Do it as unto the Lord. Wherever you are, whatever you are doing, at home, at work, at church, wherever, do it as unto the Lord. He is the rewarder, not the person that you are doing it to. 
it could it could look like you are serving my God. You are not serving my You are serving mm -mm. God. You are serving God. And He will at the right time reward you. If you look he at will. how this thing happened, it's so funny. Yes. <laughs> because heaven had plotted to kill to kill uh, Mordecai. And all the people of Israel. But look and, at how it happened. Exactly. At that point, at that point, he has plotted. He said, I cannot see. I want to speak into somebody's life today. Mm -hmm. I don't know who is breathing negativity in your space. Mm -hmm. I don't know who is breathing anger, jealousy, pain in your space. I don't know who is breathing or speaking words of evil upon you. I don't know who has purpose that unless you die, they will not know their peace. I don't know who said that they can only be glad if they don't see you alive. The verdict is changing. God is changing a verdict on somebody's life right now. I don't know who has said that they won't see you to be fruitful or prosper in your journey. I don't know who said that shame will be your portion or disappointment will be over you. You will never know the peace of God. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ uh, that the hand of God that delivered Mordecai from the hands of Haman, the hand of God that honored Mordecai. May that hand honor you right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Maybe it has been 10 years, 20 years, 15 years, 5 years. I prophesy the word of God into your life. May the blood of Jesus Christ cancel every handwritten code concerning your life and may the peace of God be with you. I prophesy that may the Lord reward you. May the Lord reward you. May the Lord reward Word you in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Amen